Good morning and welcome back. So thank you so much for being here, first of all. It's really amazing to me how many people have been tuning in, watching, and subscribing. So thank you so much for that, you guys. It makes my heart so happy that you're interested in seeing what we're doing, the projects we're working on, and the gardens and things like that. Uh, this morning I had to take Nugget, our female farm barn cat, um, to the vet to go and get spayed and I dropped her off and then I just ran by Walmart to get Hadley some summer clothes which is always fun clothes shopping is fun and now I'm uh, before I head home I'm going by Goodwill to drop off donations in the back of my truck I got stuff back there I don't know if you guys ever noticed but these glasses in particular they're probably my favorite with the way they sit the way they feel on my face um, but they, they, they slide down and hit my nose ring every time and it's kind of annoying and sometimes it makes it sore. Anyways, um, Goodwill was not open when I first drove by after the vet cause I was here in town really early and oh my God, is it nice going through Walmart at like 8.05 in the morning? There's like nobody there. It's almost like, ugh, it's almost like being there in the middle of the night. <laughs> it's fun. Okay y'all. So I just stepped outside with maple for a minute before I got back to some work stuff and noticed some chew marks on my tomatoes. So I was leaned over, I was on the phone with my husband. I was leaned over looking and I was like, oh my God, what is that? Like what would chew, I'll show you in a sec, what would chew, it chewed off the side of the tomato. And upon investigating, I found three huge tomato hornworms. Okay, I hate these guys, they are so bad. Let me show you how they decimate a tomato plant. Look at this. This is usually the first sign. All your leaves are gone. But this is what caught my attention right here. See that tomato? How it looks chewed up. And then next I noticed that right there, which is poo on the leaves. And then down there, that black spot right there, poo. And then you see what blends in? That guy. Huge hornworm right there. And as I was looking more, there's another one another huge one and then there's a small third one where did he go they don't move fast or anything right there and see they're called hornworm because you see his little horns red right there these guys will decimate this entire plant oh my god oh my god there's two more they are so huge okay so we've got some damage here so there's one somewhere on this plant as well I'm going to be putting spray. Oh, here's one right here. I see him right up inside there. So my husband was stopping by the feed store for work stuff. So he's getting me some spray and I'm gonna get these guys off and then we're gonna spray because this will, they would eat this entire plant in like two days because this is a small tomato plant. They've, they've already ruined like a third of it. It can recover, but you've got to get rid of them. Man, I really hate these guys. Look at how huge they are. This is like the lid to a can of spray paint. They're just so gross. That's why it makes me so mad. And they cause so much damage. Oh, look. There's one more hanging right there. Ugh. All right. So, we got all the hornworms off that we could find. Which ended up being like eight in this small kitchen garden. And then we sprayed... Oh, I got like a mosquito bite through my jeans and it hurts. Ugh, I hate mosquito bites. Anyway, we sprayed the whole kitchen garden because upon looking around, I found another huge one on my stevia plant, which is an herb, so weird. And then on a pepper plant. And I had like four pepper plants where the leaves have been eaten. And I've never, both my husband and I have never seen a tomato hornworm on anything but a tomato. So... It's so wild to me. So anyways, um, we pulled off and killed all eight that we found, which we just put them on the ground and stomp on them and sprayed everything. So I also went out and sprayed our in-ground garden just now because our tomatoes out there are only like two feet tall. But we do have squash and zucchini and pumpkins that have come up and those are like pests just love those plants. So went ahead and sprayed them like as a preventative just in case because you guys we fought with squash bug all year 
Also, while we were spraying things, my husband thinks my brassicas over here in the kitchen garden are not salvageable. <laughs> are not salvageable. And they might not be. And this is not from uh, the tomato hornworm. Just grasshoppers and moss and all sorts of insects love brassicas. So these really need to be netted. And I have a net. I just don't know where my hoops are. But... I may do that sometime soon. It's just that because I've planted other things in here, these other things don't need to be netted like the Rebecca and the tomato. And so I'll have to figure out a way to net just part of the bed. But I may do that. And Maple's over here chewing on a tomato. Maple. Can I have that? I'm pretty sure we like sprayed stuff on that. All right, so I literally just came out here to water plants on the front porch and let maple run and then turn into all this. I'm thankful my husband was like really close by. Um, and he was like literally a mile or two from the feed store when he called me just to chat and I discovered the tomatoes while we were on the phone. I mean the hornworms. All right, so I just picked Nugget up from her surgery and she does not like car rides. She meows and cries the whole way. She did that this morning. She's only been in the car a couple times. I'm sure that's why. Um, I think pretty much all of our cats react that way. She had her spade done, there was no issue. She had a rabies shot and all that, so I'm taking her back home. And I've got an impromptu work call that I'm gonna end up having to take on the road on the way back. But I'm glad that we've got her. Oh, I know. I know. Such a talker. So it's the next day, I'm out here with Maple to turn the pool on, and look at this. The seeds I put in here, these are zinnias, and these are sunflowers. Look, they all come up, isn't that so exciting? And pretty quickly too. And I think these right here are zinnias as well. Nice. Look at this thyme is flowering. Look how lovely. It's nice when you plant things and you leave the proper spacing, but like the first year they never fill in. And then finally the second year they do. Like I need to weed out here. I had some annuals here last year and what I had in this gap here died. But it's just nice when things start to fill in. Like this is one of my perennial herbs here. With some weeds in there. Y'all I haven't even weeded this bed since we moved in. I love this succulent. Look at this. <laughs> so cute. It's evening and I just came out to water stuff. And look at this. My citrus trees are finally blooming. And look at this guy. Check out this one. See this? And all this new growth is just really shot off with this heat. And look at all these. They open. Any day now. I hardly ever bring you guys all the way over here, so I thought I would. Ooh, look at the zebra grass shining. Oh my goodness. That is so pretty. Oh my goodness, everything is so happy.
literally love this porch. It's, it's the prettiest it's, it's just ever been. Oh, this guy has struggled so much, but the new blooms have me feeling optimistic. So I think I really just need to come in here and kind of pull off this stuff from when it was so stressed. And hopefully it'll get to looking better. Yeah, I could definitely, because see this is new growth here, so that's exciting. I've been waiting a long, long time for these to rebound. I wonder if they're just not getting enough sun, or if they need fertilizer. I don't know. Look at all the just structure and shade this tree is providing. I just love this. I know so many people say, don't have a tree against your house, but come on, man, it's hot here. So we're leaving it. <laughs> and cat are playing. Whoa! Hyper butt! End of day zoomies! <laughs> so I just want to mention that I have not uh, watered the kitchen garden in probably two days because we did get like a day or two of like long beautiful rain um, which made everything really happy and beautiful. So I think I'll go around and show you some things now before I do water and then I'll just quietly enjoy that time by myself with all these critters <laughs> um, but it's been a few days and since the soil in my raised beds don't retain moisture super well I'm gonna go ahead and give them a little watering tonight just in case but let's start out with these tomatoes that got attacked by tomato hornworm I want to note too that the petunias and the sweet potatoes here are finally rebounding these these two and those two right there have taken so long. Maple, she's not good to play with cats when she's hopper. <laughs> Anyways, they've taken so long to rebound. Just really, really long time. Look, there's a sterling in there. Sterling, I see you in my peppers. Ah, ah. That's enough. So, anyways, these are this is like the first time I think they've looked pretty. I really really was concerned about them. <laughs> this crazy dog. <laughs> oh, the AC just kicked on. Okay, so see, here's our damage. Missing so many leaves. Look at this top part. So believe it or not, this is totally savable. I've waited because we did spray and I'm gonna go through and pull off these damaged tomatoes and I will prune. Plants should be okay. This one was way less affected. But look how beautiful this dill is now. The backdrop will be much prettier when there's mulch down there, not black plastic, but mercy, that's beautiful. Chamomile, first time growing that, so I'm curious to see how big it gets. Look how huge that is. <laughs> and then the cucumbers I put on this little small temporary trellis was extra temporary. Look at that. It's just so big and it's wrapping up in itself. Yeah, this is huge. <laughs> Ernesto's like, what are you doing? So over here, I think I already showed you guys that we already have pepper plants coming on, peppers. So once these start, man, they'll just really get going. These are sweet peppers. They're probably kind of being shaded out by the stevia. And then we've got bell peppers over here. What is that? More hornworm poo right there. Let's see, there he is dead. So, anyways, that's been wild. Things over here are just looking good, fine, nothing super exciting. Really proud of those borage and how great they're standing up. 
this container right here, it has so many plants in it. It definitely has seen better days. It needs water. Oh my goodness, you guys. Remember when I showed you this? Oh, look, there's a worm guy on my flower. Rude. Anyways, when I showed you the different colors, look at this. Another yellow one. I never did take a picture of that. I totally forgot. So basically it's my things in containers that are struggling from me not watering for two days. And I should have known that, but most things just looked fine out here. So I've got, I've got a couple of cannas coming up here. And boy, is it beautiful out there. My husband mowed yesterday and we needed it today. So it is looking lovely. So... Let's check over here on these. Still need a weed over here, of course. So we still just have one a still be coming up. That might be a second one right there. Have to wait and see. Boy, do I have a lot of weeds there. <laughs> Not even caring about that this year. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you that. I'm going to get this crazy dog. Calm down and water my garden hey hey chill out sterling whoa this is how plants get trampled Ooh, she hyper anyway look at this lovely area oh i love it anyways i'm gonna go water water the gardens and Mm, I'm feeling very productive this evening. I got a ton of work done today, especially the second half of the day. I've got a little bit of work left to do. It is like 7.30, but I'm going to throw something together quick for dinner. I think just make like some Spanish rice with ground beef in it. <sighs> Finish the work thing. Clean the floors. I dusted a couple of rooms today during the day. I've got two loads of laundry to fold. And hopefully have some time with my husband before winding down. So those are my plans. Wish me luck.